Hey, it's Jab Hook here. I'm going to help people out in RPG using Slime Fun in Extreme Craft. A lot of times people have been asking lately, how do you make certain things? And to be honest, I was completely new at this a couple weeks ago myself. So I learned it and I figured I'll pass it on to everybody else who was asking rather than trying to help them one by one on the server. Uh, so the first thing we do we in our hop bar there, you see we have a Slime Fun guide. I'm still building my house. Please excuse the mess. Um, so you click on the Slime Fun guide. And in the very basics, this is what you get. So it tells you how uh, all these categories. Now what you have to do is grind for XP to unlock each item. And as you unlock them, you'll be able to craft them. But first, we need to uh, make the machines that are necessary to craft things and to get items. So the first is an enhanced crafting table. So this is uh, what's called a multi-block. And a lot of people ask, well, what is that? Well, it's simple. It's just simply a block placed on top of another block. So in this case, a dispenser on the bottom with a crafting table placed on the top. So here's our regular crafting table, and then here's our enhanced crafting table. A dispenser with a block placed on top. We'll be using these in a second. An armor forge is the next one I have that I built. An armor forge is simply the uh, same thing, a multi-block, but it's a dispenser on the bottom but facing up and then an anvil. So you have to have it facing up and then put an anvil on top. I have all of these, the ore crushers and, and uh, you know grindstones and I'll explain compressors, smelter and stuff like that. But you see the different items that we'll use to construct it. So a nether brick fence with a dispenser with iron gates on each side. Here you have just have a regular fence with a dispenser. Here you have pistons with a dispenser with a nether brick fence. And I do have them all labeled for ease of this tutorial. All right, so first, let's get into, uh, let's craft one item. Let's say we want to craft a grandma's walking stick. So we click on it. It gives us the recipe right here. These nine middle blocks are recipe. And then it tells us where we have to craft it. And in this case, it's the enhanced crafting table. So we're going to take three logs, and you craft it in the dispenser. So you put three logs down. Then you click on the crafting table, and then you take your item out of the dispenser. And there we go, Grandma's crafting stick. Okay, let's go to um, the next one. Let's go to one of these. All right, yeah, tin sword. So let me show you how you uh, craft a tin sword. So first, uh, if you're going to craft an enhanced crafting table, what we need to get is tin ingot. So the tin ingot comes from the tin dust. So let's go to find some tin dust here in our shop. I need two of them. And to get that, you'll notice that it tells you you need to place that in the smeltery. So I put it in here. One, two, and I have two tin ingots. Now I have my ingots. So I go back and then I click, now this is the recipe that I'm going to put in the enhanced crafting table. Two pieces of tin and a stick. Click, grab it out, and there you go. You got your tin sword. Okay, so that's how you use that. Uh, there's a couple other things. The armor forge. The armor is where you make your tools and stuff. So uh, I do have the materials here for one item. We'll go to the magical armor category and slime boots. Slime boots are fun. You can jump really high. Let's see, I have them on. I use slime boots, slime pants, the hazmat suit, chest, and the glowstone helmet. All these are available at my warp. It's this right here. P warp v jab hook. Uh, you can get those items if you don't craft do it crafting yourself. Alright, so anyway, the slime boots are two slime balls and with iron ingots underneath that. And you can see that right here. And we need to make that in the armor forge. So we put it in there, we click on the anvil, and our slime boots will appear. All right, so we've made three items so far. Let's move down. Uh, the ore crusher is used to crush. Uh, what I use most of the time is to make sulfate. You need to get netherrack. Uh, since I don't feel like going to mine it at this moment for this tutorial, I'm just going to buy some. So I'll buy 32 pieces, throw it in there, and each piece each is 16 netherrack. So you get two pieces of sulfate. Okay. Uh, grindstone. 
that's where you put your like you can grind a bunch of things so if you go to your machines category actually it'll tell you um, here's our grindstone all the things that can be grinded in there okay and that's how you would make it it's a multi-block so a dispenser facing up with an oak fence on it so we're going to grind and just right click on that fence and then when it's done when it's all empty we'll say sorry i could not recognize so now we have our magical lumps one now this is in the category lumps and magic so we did one let's say we want to make magical lump three we need magical lump two but we don't know how to do that so then you click on that and it'll say four pieces of magical lump one in an enhanced crafting table so i'm going to put this here i'm actually going to just make them all and you'll see there's magical lump two okay so we'll just click pull it out two more all right so now we have four pieces of magical lump two and then to get magical lump three we need those same pieces there so we need four just to get one and there's our magical lump three and that's used in a lot of the more advanced recipes all right so that's basically how you use some of these uh, so we used the smelter for the sword we used all of those tools we didn't use the compressor yet so let's use the compressor uh, let me grab lots of coal then compress this all when you compress coal i just clicked once to show you when you compress coal you will get carbon if you compress it a lot of times you're going to get compressed carbon which you're going to need to make some other items later so let's just see where we're at here okay we got it all compressed and when you compress carbon even farther so each four pieces of carbon you compress it one more time and it will give you compressed carbon okay so i actually will need eight pieces of compressed carbon And then I'm going to need one piece of flint. What we're going to do here is we're going to make, um, we're going to go, let's see. Resources and synthetic diamonds. So a synthetic diamond is a carbon chunk in a pressure chamber. But the first thing we have is we have eight pieces of compressed carbon with one piece of flint in an enchanted crafting table. So we're going to do that. And we're going to click up there and we will get our carbon chunk. Okay, so we used the compressor to get the carbon. Then we made the carbon chunk. And now you see you put the carbon chunk in the pressure chamber. And this is the pressure chamber machine. And this will give us a synthetic diamond. We'll click down here on the coal again. And there we go. We got our synthetic diamond. Okay. So that's using most of those machines. There's many other machines. Magic Workbench is used a lot to craft the soulbound equipment. We have oil washers, sawmills, juicers, compressors, composters, um, what else we have, crucible. Uh, so there's many different machines and we'll cover some other ones. Next, we're gonna cover some STB basics, which is a different plugin on RPG.